Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! my craft room such as it is um you'll see my sewing desk you can actually see the top of it now now that I've been finishing Christmas presents it's all the piles are shrinking <laughs> which is nice um I still have two more to work on but they, they they're they're in progress so I should be finished soon and then I can clean up this hellscape. <laughs> Maybe Santa will bring me organizational tools. I need them. Um, anyway, so if you're new here, my name is Sherry. This is my craft room, um, where mostly we talk cross-stitch, needlepoint, um, but also a little bit of gardening, a little bit of sewing, whatever crafty things I get up to. And a whole big bunch of kitten chaos because I have two seven month old boy kittens who are wild but adorable. Um, the only person joining us today is Artemis. She's over laying on her, her bed in front of the window. Uh, I, I've closed the curtains for today. I mean, it's a gray, yucky day outside, but. I, and it doesn't matter. It always is so bright. And I, I closed the, the curtains, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to help or not. Um, we'll see. If it doesn't doesn't make a difference, we'll just open them back up next time. Uh, it is December thirteenth, so twelve days till Christmas. Um, I'd like to say thank you. To those of you who have subscribed and liked and commented and all of that good stuff and I would like to say welcome to those of you who are new here um so let's get started we'll start with life life um mostly what's going on is Christmas prep obviously baking wrapping making because we as makers we make um a lot of christmas presents <sighs> a whole lot of christmas presents um our christmas tree is still standing shocking i know and we've only lost three ornaments i know i am in utter shock um, I think, I hope, that maybe putting out the Halloween tree gave the kittens time to grow accustomed to having a tree of ornaments in the house before we put up the big Christmas tree. Because, and don't get me wrong, I, I've had to pull little boys out of that tree multiple times, but they are not as bad as they were at Halloween if that makes sense. Um, as I said, I've only lost three glass balls so far. So far, we still have, you know, at least two more weeks left. So who knows what's gonna happen. Um, the presents on the other hand, all of these boxes that are all wrapped up in shiny, pretty paper with shiny, pretty bows on them. That's just too much to, I, I just keep a roll of tape next to the Christmas tree because all of our presents, <laughs> they started out looking so pretty and now they're all taped 
<laughs> where little claws have ripped at the, the paper. Bows frequently wander off down the hall. Well, I say wander more like a race off down the hall where they have been ripped off presents. Um, so we are having to tape those on really good. Um, the bigger presents at the back of the tree, the tree is in front of our windows in the living room and the bigger presents that are up against that wall. Snickers likes to just lounge on them and look out the window. <laughs> so, I don't know. Cats will cat, right? Um, we expected it all. We expected it all. These are not the first kittens we've ever had. So, you know, it keeps life interesting. It keeps you on your toes. Um, my husband will be taking off work starting tomorrow, going all the way through Tuesday of next week. So that's fun. He'll have some time off. So maybe we can get out and do things. Um, I know he needs it. He, he, he's burning out as you do. This is a busy time of year. Um, so we're looking forward to that. Um, other than that, not much going on. Uh, so let's get on to cross stitch. Cross stitch. Uh, cross stitch. I only worked on one project. And if you've been here before, you know which one. But, as I said, my husband is taking off work tomorrow. Uh, yesterday, I finished his cross stitch. Yes, I did. This is Gone Fishing. It is from Just Cross Stitch Magazine, June of 2021. And it is complete. I have finished it. Let me tell you, it wasn't a bad stitch. It wasn't a bad stitch. Uh, the, the fish were all kinds of like partial stitches, but nothing like the bookmarks I did. Um, this, the net that goes around it was a whole big bunch of just tedious backstitch <laughs> and I like backstitching I do black work I like backstitching but these were just just straight lines all the way across both directions <laughs> but it's done it looks great I am happy with it um so this weekend, I will probably pick up a frame for it. But the thing is, I don't know if he wants to hang this up at work or if he wants to hang it up here. Now, if he was hanging it up here, it's fine. I could finish it however, however. But if he takes it to work, since he works in a garage, even though it's in his office, it's still attached to the garage. I would rather it be behind glass in a frame. So I'm just going to, you know what, just going to frame it, put it in a frame behind glass and be done with it. That way it doesn't matter where he hangs it. Um, but I'm very happy with how that turned out. And literally I finished it yesterday. I had just put it away out of sight when he got home from work. <laughs> so that's a thing. Um, that is the only project I have worked on. Now that that is done, it, it is like a huge relief. Now I can get back to working on my other projects. Um, I think I have decided that I'm just going to do a birthday start. I had mentioned last time that we have December 25th is Christmas. January 1st is New Year's, and then January 7th is my birthday, and I am not going to do three new starts in a 13-day period. I can't handle it. Um, you know, and, and I'm not knocking people who do. You do you. I mean, 
this is our hobby. This is what we do to relax. And this is something we enjoy. So we should have the freedom to do it however we wish to do it. And if you are someone who can do that, hey, I think you're awesome. I just, I, my ADHD, D brain can't, can't, it just can't. Okay. <laughs> I mentioned last time that my goal is to have seven projects going all the time. And that's not including the ornaments that I'm going to do. So now that that is finished, I have six projects. So I think what I'm going to do is wait until my birthday because at that point I will have gotten everything I'm going to get. All the presents will be opened and I'll see what I have and that will work out. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait until my birthday for a new start. And until that time, I am going to work on my other projects. And hey, you know what? If I get one done, then that means I can make two new starts. But seven seems to be my magic number. One for each day of the week. That works for my defective brain. Um, I will be doing, at the end of the year, a... I guess, whip parade, plans, and finishes of 2023 video. That will be my probably next video. Um, now all that's left of cross stitch is, I guess, haul. As I mentioned before, my husband and I do our own advent calendars. He makes one for me. I make one for him. He's been getting, you know, golf balls, golf tees, uh, fishing lures, things like that. I have been getting, well, I got a book, which I'm currently reading. Uh, I got, um, lots of stitchy stuff. <laughs> um, and I'll show you some of that. And then I also got, um, a few things that I bought. Now, I mentioned I didn't want to buy any more patterns for now because I don't know what I'm getting for Christmas or my birthday for that matter. But my favorite shop to get needle minders at had a big sale. And I have been buying needle minders from this woman for years. She is amazing. It's Galloway's Gallery. She has every kind of needle minder under the sun. She has licensed characters, which is why I like her because I can get my Snoopy because Snoopy. Um, you can get Hello Kitty, you can get Disney, you can get Looney Tunes, you can get Harry Potter, you can get Star Wars, you can get all of that. Um, she had a sale. Well, I went shopping. Now, the problem with that is I've also been getting needle minders in my advent from my husband. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of new needle minders going into next year, but that's okay. Cause I don't just use them for needle point. I also use them for my quilting and sewing and things of that nature too. So they will get used, okay? It's not an over excess, but they will get used. Um, but the things I've gotten thus far in my advent calendar. Uh, let's see. Aha, there they are. Okay. These are the stitchy things that I've gotten so far. Now, I've, like I said, I've also gotten some other things, like I got a book and, and whatnot. Um, but these are the things I've gotten thus far. Now, I got on one day from Weeks Dye Works. I got this gorgeous silver and purple variegated thread. And he got me two pieces, which I love. I love that. I've got to figure out what I want to stitch with it now because it's beautiful. Um, I got an absolutely beautiful little pair of embroidery scissors with enameled flower handle which I love 
and they have this little polka dot case. But yes, I got those one day. I got some silver silk lame braid. I got some sparkly pink. You can never see the sparkles on video. It's disappointing. But I got this one. And then I got a lovely bright spring green. That's also sparkly. Not that you can tell in a video. Because, you know, the heck with your hopes and dreams. Um, but I got those. And then... <laughs> This isn't cross stitch but it is for sewing and I thought it was funny now when I make clothes I, I make a lot of our clothes and, and I don't do it on mine because I know which way is back and which way is front but I have a spool of ribbon just a minute and it is just plain white soft satin ribbon and I have this spool of ribbon for one purpose and one purpose only. It denotes the back of the garments that I make. Because, well, of course my daughter, you know, she's, she's different. She needs a little help. So I usually put a ribbon in the back of her clothes. Well, my husband, now obviously with shirts like this one, which I made this, it is a, Christmas Hello Kitty flannel. Um, shirts like this, I don't need to put anything in the back. I, I'm pretty sure they can figure out which is the front and which is the back. Um, but like for pants, things of that nature, my husband decided I needed to mark the back of his as well. And I'm like, you can't tell the difference. And he says, it doesn't matter. You mark hers. You need to mark mine. Well, as you can see, kind of getting low on ribbon. <laughs> well, I opened up an advent gift and these were in there. <laughs> Little labels that say, this is the back. <laughs> I love them. They are so funny. But my husband figured, you know what? Here you go. When you run out of your little white ribbon, you got these. <laughs> and I thought these were so funny. <laughs> and, but these were in my advent calendar. So, now, the needle minders I've gotten. I have gotten five thus far. And I went ahead and put them on this card. I got Stitch, because I love Stitch. At a Snoopy Halloween. I got Joe Cool. I got Snoopy in, in Woodstock Christmas. And then I got the little black cat. And it says, every stitch you make, every skein you take, every strand you break, I'll be watching you. <laughs> and that is Hecate. <laughs> but I got all of those in my app. So, those are the things I've been getting out of my advent calendar that my husband made for me. I did get, now I was getting the fabric of the month back quarter from uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. But I canceled that and I changed. I got, I've started getting, um... The fabric of the month from Witch's Garden Crafts for a change of pace, you know. And I got this, I got last month's, and it is in the color Saged. And it is in plastic, so of course, even though the window is shut and everything, I'm sorry about the crinkle noise. I was hoping that shutting the curtains would cut down on the, uh, yeah, I was wrong. I was hoping it would cut down on the glare, but no, no, absolutely not. 
but it is a dull sage green and you know you can just never get these to come out right on a video oh no that that's a good representation right there it is a dull sage green um it it's got a lot of blue in it though as you can see it does have a lot of blue in it now this is an eighth of a yard um and with every one of her orders she always includes the little key charm which i love um, I'm all about my charms, as you can see with my little silver bells. The cats, by the way, love this thing. <laughs> I have been attacked so many times today for my charm bracelet. <laughs> well, not just today. I've been wearing it all season. So, I have been attacked a lot. <laughs> Um, that should be the only crinkle plastic. I'm sorry. I know everybody gets upset about that. The next thing I got, my husband came home with this Crustage Gold Christmas collection. Um, he knows I'm doing all the little ornaments. And he decided that I could take this sampler and do the separate little pieces as ornaments. And I actually like that idea. Um, I, I don't know what year this was, was published. There is no year anywhere on it. I've looked. I do know Cross Stitch Gold Magazine is no longer in publication. So that's a thing. So I have no idea how how old this is and i don't know where he found it he had taken my daughter out shopping for me for christmas and came home and said i'm gonna give this to you before christmas um so in case you wanted to stitch something up and there are actually a lot of things in here that i want to stitch there there are um I don't know if anyone would be interested in a flip through of it. Uh, if you are, tell me in the comments below and I can do that in my next video. Um, but there are some pretty, pretty patterns. I, I like this, this little wreath pattern with the gold leaves and pine cones. Um, I think these poinsettia patterns would be pretty for a set of ornaments. There is another poinsettia pattern in here that I think would be a gorgeous cushion for later when the demon babies are older. <laughs> But it's there. Now, I would not stitch this on a red background. I, 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 I don't like it on the red background. I would probably do it on blue. But there, there are several nice, nice charts in here. So I was very pleased with that. Um, and as I said, let me know down below if you want to do a flip through. I can. The next things I've got... <laughs> Now, like I said, I went ahead and ordered some needle minders myself, and I, I kept them on the little cardboard. She she packages these things amazingly. Um, these came just like this, and there she's cut holes out of the cardboard for the magnets to fit through, and then she puts tape. Um, and she always puts them in a little handmade bag. These came in this, this gorgeous fabric, okay? Here's another one. Snoopy fabric. Always a fan. Um, another little handmade bag. Pumpkins. 
she always packages them in these little handmade bags, which I think is an, a fabulous touch. Um, but I got the Cactus Kitty. I got some beautiful flowers. I got a bunny and a, a crescent moon. Now, I didn't get any Snoopies because I figured my husband probably would. Um, I got this little gingham pumpkin, which I thought was cute. And then I got a little gingerbread kit. Now, this was a free gift. The snowman. And that's another thing about her. She always sends you a, sends you a free one with an order. Um, she, she's wonderful. And her needle minders are very reasonably priced. They're less than $5 a piece. And, you know, I'll, I'll put the link below. Um, cause she's just a small business and she, she's amazing. Amazing. But I did get all of those. I, I, I have a problem with needle minders. I love them. Um, and I ordered two more things. Now, I had mentioned before that cross stitch is not my only needle work. I also do embroidery. Well, I decided I wanted to try felt embroidery. So I got this little kit. And it is for a little felt craft, uh, like a little sewing pouch. I figured that might be handy when we go on vacations and such to just slip in my purse with various little things in it. Um, cause of course I always take my needle point with me. And I also got this one, a little knitting kitty, which I thought was adorable. So I got this one as well. And I want to do these two. Now I will probably start them next year. But I thought I would start with these two and see how I like it. And I got both of these from uh, snugglymonkey.com. So that's my haul. That's my cross stitch. Those are the things I have gotten in my advent calendar so far that are, you know, stitchy related, obviously. As I said, I also got a book and some other things. Um, now on to garden. The garden is fine. Uh, we did have a hard frost a couple days ago, which really hit the beans hard. So I, they're probably dead, um, which is sad because they were just starting to produce. Typical. Uh, we're still harvesting peppers like you would not believe. Ahi mangoes, my dehydrator is full of them, the plants are full of them, plus I have this bowl waiting to go into the dehydrator. Uh, these are jalapenos and serranos, we're still harvesting those, um, so yeah, they're going wild. We've got our garlic planted, we still have not planted the lettuce, and I have just told my husband, hold off, we just won't plant it until spring. That gives him all winter to get that little box repaired. And that way we're not rushed. And he's not rushed. Because that's not fair to him either. Um, so we'll just plant the lettuce in the spring. It's no big deal. But we did get the garlic planted. Um, so everything, everything is planted. Um, garden is fine. Uh... Now, on to sewing. Sewing. I didn't get anything. Well, I didn't get any. I got one thing sewn. I made the flannel shirt for my daughter out of the pretty yellow flannel. Um, pink is her favorite color. Yellow is a very, very close second. She loves yellow. Um, and honestly, yellow looks great on her. Yellow looks horrible on me because I'm the color of dead people. Black and white. That's about it. I wear other colors just because 
I'm almost 54 and don't care. Um, but I did get that sewn. Got it wrapped up. It's under the tree where it belongs. Everything is cool. So that's done. I have cut out all of the pieces for, oh gosh. and of course there's, there we go. All of the pieces for the cat house. I want to make that. Um, I have cut out all of the pieces. I now need to iron on the fusible Pelon, Peltex, whatever, the uh, stabilizer. I need to iron that on and get it stitched up, which I don't think will take long. I don't think that'll take long at all. Um, and then that will be done. And then I need to make my daughter another little uh, stuffed toy uh, doll. Um, and that one, I'm just going to use a pattern because she went leafing through all of my patterns and just picked the one she wanted. <laughs> because of course she did. But I'll get that cut out and stitched up before Christmas. And then those two are the only Christmas presents I have left. Now, if you remember last time, I had shown you the little quilted bag I made for my mother, which her gifts are already on their way to Oregon. Um, I'm going to make another one for myself because I think it would be perfect to put my rings of uh, fancy floss in. And the fabric I got is over here. And it's just made with a little mini charm pack, which, like I said, they're just two and a half inch square. And it's all the classic Christmas colors. Which I like. I like the classic traditional red and green. Um, but I'm going to make myself a little quilted pouch to put all my fancy flosses in. Because right now they're kind of crammed in a box. I used to have them hanging on a hook, which was attached to the side of my desk. But then we got kittens. Hecate is not so interested in the, the dangly things. She's old enough to know. I mean, she's three now. Uh, three, and, three and a half. Um, she'll be four in May. Uh, she's old enough to know. I can't play with that because mama gets mad um, or I won't say mama gets mad. I rarely get mad at the cats, but mama's not happy. Um, so she doesn't really bother them. The kittens don't care if mama's happy <laughs> because they're babies. <laughs> like I said, they're seven months old now, so they're still babies, but I can't leave them hanging anymore. So I've got them in a box and they tend to get knotted up. Now the box isn't very big, but I figure that quilted pouch was about like this, but it, it expanded out to about like here so I can lay them in there. Now, if Santa Claus brings me organization things, I may not, I may be able to use that pouch for something else, right? But that's the goal, is to make myself one of those quilted pouches to put my fancy flosses in. Um, but that's all that's going on here. It is a shorter video today, and I'm pretty sure everybody's thankful for that. <laughs> um, I am not going to be making another video until after Christmas. So... I would like to tell everyone, thank you. Thank you for listening to me ramble in my craft room. Uh, thank you for all of your likes and comments and subscribes and all of those things. I do truly appreciate them and I am thankful for them. Uh, thank you for taking time out of your busy December to visit with me in my craft room. 
see what I'm up to. And I hope each and every one of you have a truly wonderful Christmas and holiday. And I will see you after Christmas.